So, Grandma, what do you think about the power of touch? What? What do you think about the power of touch? Like human touch, contact. I haven't thought much about it. <laughs> In terms of like how necessary it is for humans to stay connected and... Is that right? You Just know? a touch? Just the little contact, yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> Well, if somebody was lonely, I think it would be good. Yeah. But I found out that the, the human body is actually designed to be touched. That when you use your muscles, they fill with these uh, chemicals from act activities. And then your muscle actually holds those chemicals until somebody just kind of palpates you or touches or massages. And then it moves that memory out of the body. Does that make sense? Right. Mm -hmm. And so since we're not touched enough, we our bodies fill up with this memory and then they start getting harder and more less flexible and, and stuff tears and isn't that interesting that we weren't taught that in our culture? Well what about a child? Well a child's fresh so it doesn't have much activity but even my children have a certain level of trauma in them. Even seven years old, I'll touch their body and they have oh, yeah. pain and soreness in them and stuff like that. So it's just interesting when we were taught, you know, yeah, yeah, to be touched. Well, I taught school and kids love to be touched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really did. Yeah, because they're pure, and more innocent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's weird how we lose that when we become adults. Yeah, you know, just grab a hand. Yeah, and they love that. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird how when we become adults, we get alienated to that. Well, when you're working with little people, you know, they, <laughs> that's very often the case. Yeah. <laughs> either picking them up or doing something with them. And, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, first graders, uh, they come to school and they want to try everything. Right. And uh, one of the <clears throat> one of the rules that we have is that you know there's no pugnacious attacks or anything. Mm -hmm. If you want to be friendly with someone, you just touch them very carefully. Mm -hmm. Or you don't have to touch them at all. Even a smile right. is a touch. Yeah. If you get the right smile. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my little people were very happy when I taught school. <laughs> They all would call me Ms. Jefferson. Ms. Jefferson, can we do this? And if it wasn't something that was destructive, for sure. Tell me about it. <laughs> right. Maybe other people would enjoy it. <laughs> right. That's awesome. I bet you're an amazing teacher. Oh, I love teaching. Mm. I still teach Sunday school, you know. Really? Just to keep in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this theory, uh, you know, of uh, the, all the uh, Bible and all that. A lot of little kids don't understand about that. That there's this wonderful book, and they should be enjoying it. So what we do, we filtered out a lot of the, well, uh, some of the uh, publishing houses have uh, put out little books that have a story about uh, somebody in the Bible that had a problem and how he worked it out, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, that they understand. And one of the things is you, uh, if you're going to help somebody, be sure that it's help right. and not mayhem. <laughs> we have that little boy problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, boys can be very, very destructive. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, my three kids, well, there were a few arguments, but they got along so beautifully.
I wished you, uh, Terry should be here. My older son. He's here. That's David. That's David. He's the baby. Yeah, he looks like a baby with a beard. Yeah. <laughs> He's a sweetie, though. He is a sweetie. He is Here, a sweetie. Let me take a picture of you too. <laughs> Micah, put that phone down. He's a, a great kid. Yeah. <laughs> Very thoughtful. He's a kid at heart. Very thoughtful. Okay, Micah, I need done. posing. Mike's so he's, thoughtful. He's quite an artist too, isn't he? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you doing a very mm -hmm. caring mm -hmm. person? David is. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, well Terry you? is too, but in a more reserved way. Mm. Have you met Terry? I have. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I came here with him actually. Terry's mm -hmm. uncle. Yeah. uncle. Yeah, it's my uncle. Terry. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Cookie. Uh, you haven't met her yet. I have. She's cooking. She's cooking food in, in the kitchen. <laughs> this is Anne. This she's is my. Melt. This is my baby. Yes, I understand. This is my firstborn. He would. He looked like a beautiful little china doll when he was born. Oh, well, Elvis that. first, and then, like he was from. The That's a bad attitude, beard. <sighs> Well, not all children react the same way, but you can pretty well tell how a child has been treated mm -hmm. in their life. And, uh, uh, when I was teaching, I always kind of wondered about some of them, and in a tactful way, I would find out that things were not happy at home. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I try to get the mother to come in and give me a little background, you know, how could we help? Mm -hmm. yeah, and, uh, that. You, is that but nine out of ten no. problems involved no. around money. 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 Yeah. yeah. Either misspent or not enough, mm -hmm. you know. Strange Same thing today. Mm -hmm. It hasn't changed a bit. Right. But, uh, uh, that was uh, the school, the Dearborn schools were very well uh, underwritten with all their things, and you could very tactfully provide lunch for children right? without them, you know, feeling they were getting dulled or, mm -hmm. you know, being uh, different than the other kids. It was the same lunch. Sit down and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes <laughs> I would go and sit with them. They right. thought that was quite nice. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. <laughs> because if Mrs. Jefferson was there, you had to be very careful about your speech and using your right tools to eat mm -hmm. with. <laughs> so I really, you know, I hated to give up teaching, but my husband was already retired and he said, you know, I'd like to go to Hawaii or something. Uh, not have to worry about can you get the time off so I said well you know 30 years is a long time to be teaching mm -hmm. and I have a very nice pension from it mm -hmm. so that was when I decided to retire wow. and I've never been unhappy about it because mm -hmm. I wish you could meet him he is a prince so and he adores David. Yeah. No. They look kind of similar, huh? A little bit? Hmm? They look kind of similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're talking about you, David. Yeah, I What have you been up to lately? 